Tables are very useful for laying out information in Word. I'm just going to show you how to create one and some little tips with it as well. So there are essentially two ways to add a table. One, you can go into Table and Insert and Table. And the other is to use this button here to insert a table. Let's quickly do this one. So this is very simple if you want to add one in very quickly. You just click on it and you can choose how big you want your table. So that one there would give me three rows and four columns and it actually tells you down there. You can then add information in. All of your column widths and rows at the moment are equal and that's very useful. I'm just going to click on undo and we're going to insert a table through the menu so you can see the alternative to it. Once both of them are created everything else works the same so let me just undo that. Go to Table, choose Insert and then Table and you get a dialog box to insert that table. Rather than having that fancy diagram where you can choose how many rows and columns you want, you've actually got to tell it how many you want. So if I said I wanted, I'm going to say four rows and three columns, I can now set some of the other behaviours such as how big I want each of those. Here they're going to be automatically uh, equally distributed and they're going to be three columns and they're going to fit the page and divide it up equally into three parts. The alternative is, is that it will change depending on the size of the content that you actually type in. So if I was to choose that one you'll see that the tables will change. You can also fit to a window which is the size of the window as opposed to the size of the document. So there's that that we can put in there as well. I can click on Auto Format. That will give me some styles so I can look at the different styles for each of my tables. So if I'm not very good or I just quickly want something formatted, I can choose any one of a number of tables that they've actually got here. I'm just going to stick with the usual table grid. You see a preview comes up down the bottom here. So I'm just going to click on OK for that. I can get it to remember these dimensions for new tables, so if I want all of them to be exactly the same after them, I can just tick that box and leave it. You can always change it when you do bring them up, but it does speed things up. So I'm just going to click on OK. And there you are, it's put in three columns here. So I could put in here episode, duration, and who recorded it. So that's the presenter. Okay, and then I could add things down here. But you can do things to your table. For example, you might want to change the column width. To do that, you just move to that line there that separates the column, and I can just click and drag that over. You'll see it changed up here as well. They've got these little blocks, so I could actually just grab that and move it across. So I can change each of these. I can do the same with rows. I can make them bigger. I can make them smaller. I can enter information in here, such as this one here is for tables. I don't know how long that one's going to be, and it's me that's doing it. And I could keep going through entering new information. Now if I want to add another row, if I've got to the end of my rows, I can just simply press tab at that point and it takes me to the next line. In fact, pressing tab will always move you on to the next column and if you happen to be in the last row and last column, pressing tab again will always just keep creating. So you don't have to worry too much about how many rows you've got because you can always easily add that in. If you want to add in a new column, I usually, let's say I want to add one in here, I can highlight that just by going to the top of my column, right click and I can choose insert columns. It inserts the column to the left of the column that I was in. But that's not a problem, you could always just move these around, such as cutting and pasting. So that's essentially how you use tables and can do a little bit of changing around. Sometimes you might want to join some of these together. You might want not want to going across like this. You can actually merge these two together and you can do that just by highlighting, right clicking 
and choosing Merge Cells. And you'll see it's actually put one big cell in there. If I wanted to split those again into two, I just right click. You'll see it's got split cells. You can tell it how many columns and rows you want. Two columns will put it back where it was. And I just need to then move that across to here. But if I've really got one here and I want to split that up, so maybe I want to have a column here with minutes and a column here with seconds, go into table, split cells, and I could change it to the number of columns, two, and there are six rows there. If I now click OK, it has split those, giving me even more. So I can keep splitting and I can merge these together. So these are the basics for using tables.